What's up you guys, welcome to the Single Guy Channel. I'm Lloyd and today we're gonna to be talking about how to make a woman want you sexually. This is a big question that a lot of guys have. If you do this right, where you're able to get a girl turned on, it's gonna be innate, she won't be able to fight it. Attraction is not a choice and especially when it comes to sex, these things are biological, they're ingrained within us. As much as she has arms and legs, she also has a sex drive. Now there's like a one or two percent asexual factor, but we're gonna ignore that. For the rest of the women, biological urges are innate. Now to turn on these biological urges, you have to display certain traits. Although men and women love sex, we both love sex just as much. In fact, women, you know, sometimes they can even like it more than men. Um, men like sex in different flavors than women do. So if you see a girl walking down the street that's hot, you're probably down to sleep with her. You're, you'd be like, hell yeah, I'd love to have sex with her. But if a woman sees a really hot guy walking down the street, some of them might want to have sex with him, but others might need a little bit more information about him to know what's up. And that's, that those women who need more information are the majority of women out there. So why do women need more information? Well. For men, it's very easy. If we just look at a girl and say she's hot, we already know we want to have sex with her because the biological cost is very low for us. The biological cost for a woman, if she has sex with a guy, historically, is very, it, it's a high cost. I mean, she could get pregnant. When she gets pregnant, she might die in childbirth. If she doesn't die in childbirth, she has a child to raise. And for those periods of time where she's having the kid and right after she has the kid, she's basically helpless. She can't get food. She can't get shelter. She, can't, she doesn't have protection. She needs a guy for all of those things. And if you're not a guy who can provide that for her, she's not going to feel sexually attracted to you. But if you are a guy who's going to provide that or who looks like he's going to provide that very well for her, then she's going to feel sexually attracted to you. It's going to be innate. She's not going to be able to fight it. These are biological urges. She is unconsciously going to be looking at you to try and decide whether you display those traits. Now, women aren't consciously thinking about, if I have a kid with this guy, is he going to do that? <laughs> Again, these are programmed within their minds. So um, th these are stuff that they're not even really conscious of while they're doing it. So when you're talking to a girl and you're displaying traits that are very needy traits where you need to have her react to something or you're uh, just by the way you're speaking, you're not standing up for yourself, she's not going to be sexually attracted to you. However, if you are standing up for yourself and you show very confident body language, you're confident in the way that you speak, you're kind of leading the interaction, then she's going to think, wow, this guy is into me and he's a very capable guy of taking care of me and whatever offspring that I have. Again, unconsciously. <laughs> so if you display those things, she is going to be very sexually attracted to you. That's why women hate neediness. Neediness is the worst thing for a woman because if she has a kid and she needs to take care of you too, that's basically a death sentence. She can't have a guy that she needs to take care of. She needs a guy who's very capable. And that's also why women spend a longer time or are a little bit more choosy than men when it comes to who they mate with. Because if they choose the wrong guy, that is a horrible life decision. That's the end of their evolutionary gene pool for them. So she needs to be careful of who she chooses to have sex with. And if you want to be the right guy, you got to display these traits. Now, I see a lot of guys out there that typically, you get the typical guy who goes out, he makes a ton of money, he starts buying tons of cars, tons of like big homes, fancy suits, and he's showing off his good looks, his wealth and all of that stuff, but he still can't get girls. And the reason why he can't get girls is because although monetarily and maybe uh, physically he might have evolved, his mind hasn't. And if you get a guy with a weak mind, he can lose everything. He can lose his money. He can lose his good looks. You get older, you lose those anyway. He can lose his nice car. If he doesn't have a good, hearty, confident constitution, he is not going to be a good match for them because you can lose all of those things. So if he has those things, sure, they might like them at first. They might think, oh, wow, like this guy's on top of his shit. Like he's a really successful person. You know, I would love to get to know him a little bit. But then they talk to him and he doesn't measure up. They're not going to be sexually attracted to him because he's not displaying those traits that they're looking for. So you the good news about this is that you can still get the girls that you want in life, but you don't have to do all of those things. You don't have to get a six-pack ad. You don't have to get that fancy Ferrari or be super rich. You just have to display confidence and display a level of confidence that you're going to be able to protect her, raise the child, um, and provide for them. 
Now, those types of things women look for in a conversation when you're just talking with them. Like I said, that's why a lot of times being charismatic, being funny, being confident, um, standing up for yourself, breaking rapport, all of these things are leading to, all of these things work and they display these attractive traits. That's why I talk about them on my channel all the time. This channel is specifically designed to help you learn these things and most of all, help you display them towards other people because a lot of my students, they have a lot of their life figured out. They're kind of like those guys with the, the really fancy cars and stuff, but they haven't learned how to converse or haven't learned how to display their attractiveness towards women. They haven't learned to display those traits because they haven't learned that they're still not successful. No amount of money, no amount of fame can help you bypass this sort of thing. It can maybe fool a girl for a little bit, but once she starts to see those things, when she, your behavior towards her comes off as needy or insecure, she's going to be turned off and she's not going to want to sleep with you anymore. But if you do display those traits, you don't have to have the money, you don't have to have the fancy car or the ripped abs or any of those sorts of things. She's still going to be sexually attracted to. She's still going to want you sexually. When I talk about this, it might sound a little um, obvious and repetitive, but a lot of guys get this wrong. That's why guys fall into the friend zone. That's why guys end up getting called that nice guys, because they believe that by being nice, they believe that by showing her they care, they believe that by getting instant like good reactions, like, oh, she's smiling at me, like, oh, she wants to spend time with me, that they're doing the right things, but they're displaying the wrong traits. Just because you're nice to a girl, just because you uh, listen to her, just because you bought her a gift, that doesn't indicate that you are a good match. That doesn't indicate that you have the traits that she's looking for. You have maybe one part of them, which is that you're going to stick around, but if you're not a capable person, if she doesn't think that you're a real capable man, then she's not going to want to fuck you. Also too, guys fall on the, so guys fall too far on the nice guy spectrum and then guys fall too far on the uh, dick and asshole spectrum, which is where they start turning into very mean spirited people. They start trying to dominate every single conversation and they're just annoying to talk to. That person reeks of insecurity just as much as the other guy. And in fact, it can sometimes be worse because they don't even want to spend time with him at all all. Just because you act tough doesn't mean you actually are tough. And that's why talking to people displays a lot of information. That's why women are much more observant than men are when it comes to body language, uh, when it comes to how a person's feeling and that sort of thing. So if you're able to display those, you're able to have confident body language, you're able to have charisma, humor, tease her, hold your own, lead, do all of those things that display that you're going to be a very capable man, capable of taking care of her, the child, raising it, and protecting them. That is a really attractive person. That's someone that the woman wants sexually. So in this video, the traits that I talked about when it comes to confidence, charisma, humor, um, compassion also works too because she's looking for a guy who's going to take care of her long term. And if you're not compassionate and you're not attending to her needs, you're probably not going to be a very good father to the child. So if you have these traits, oh yeah, but leadership, standing up for himself, all of those types of things are really important traits to have. And if you don't display those traits, no amount of money, no amount of fame can hide the fact that you're not a high value guy and women are not going to want you sexually. Now you can do this in every way, shape and form. Every personality fits this. There's a confident version of your personality out there that you maybe haven't shown girls that you're still waiting to show. Uh, there's maybe a more funny or charismatic side of your personality that you haven't shown other women. So a lot of guys think that they're just doomed to fail, but this is one of the ultimate great things about being a guy is that we can change our situation. That's why a lot of guys get better with age. So once you learn this, once you understand yourself and be able to start displaying your best self towards other people and doing that on a regular basis, you're going to get a lot better at this. It won't happen overnight, but eventually you're going to start to see yourself as a sexual being, which is where I want you guys to be because too many of you watching this video don't feel like you have any sort of sexual being within yourself or you've never felt that way or no woman's made you feel that way. It has to come from you first and then the world will realize it. And that's what I'm sharing for you guys for. So thanks a lot. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you have any info or you want to give me any feedback on this channel, would love to hear it. Good luck out there.